guys so much for joining Jacobs. We just wanted to say we are so sorry, guys. We so got sorry. sick. I was sick, then Jordan got sick. A little bit, like, yeah. It was just like a rough couple of weeks. Yeah, and, and super we busy. Video, and, crazy. and then we were like, I don't know if this is something we should yeah. post. A little controversial. So, um, yeah. Tonight, Yay. we have good quality content for you tonight. And so, we're starting a new playlist on our tour of our channel. It is going to be called Jacob Javels. And so, what that's going to be is... We're going to basically answer your questions and each time we do this, there's gonna be a different topic. If you want us to answer some of your questions, go ahead and follow us on our Instagrams right here and here. Stay up to date and we would love to answer your questions. We wanna have yeah. a ton of fun. You can get to know us better. And the topic for today's Jacob Jabble is... Movies! Let's do it! Right, right. So your first question is. I don't know why this makes me nervous. Okay, so well, no, don't be nervous. So the first question is, what's the one movie that always makes you cry without fail? What is it? What's that one movie? Okay, well I don't really cry often. That's very but true. But the first thing that ever comes to my mind about a movie that I always cry in. No judgment, please. You know what I mean? Oh, Joshua, I, I don't. Honestly, I don't. I'm never, I mean, you don't cry. I know, I know. I've only seen her cry like four okay. times. And like the passion of Christ is not. Okay, yeah, that makes you cry um, every time. I mean. So. Oh, <laughs> no! Really? Are you serious? Yeah. When Hero goes in and oh, like, yeah, it's he's like super giving sad. up his life and like to save like, what yeah. is his name? I don't even know the kid's name. Yeah, no, forget and him. So, it's like, all about Baymax. Baymax <laughs> is him. in there, like, dying. I know. And I'm, like, sitting here crying, like, that's Jesus giving his life up for me. <laughs> yeah, you find Jesus in Baymax, you know, Big Hero 6. But no, it's such a beautiful scene. I just weep, like, every time I watch it. Yeah, no, it's honestly, really it's amazing. great. Yeah, it's great. If it's you haven't seen so that movie... Amazing. All right, so the question was, uh, what's, one movie, what's one movie that always makes, always me, cry? Always makes me cry without fail? Movie that always makes me cry without fail. Obviously, we got to take out Passion of the yeah. Christ because, for sure. as religious, you know, as religious folk, you know, folk. religious, <laughs> I know folk. folk. Uh, no, but as Are religious people, boy? like seeing Jesus die is like always like super traumatizing. Yeah. And the way Mel Gibson puts it, it's like really gruesome. He does really good. Um, so we're just gonna put that it's aside. Like how I yeah, I don't want to punish my savior. Anyway, now, um, the movie that makes me cry every time without fail, do you know what I'm no, going to say? I say Lion King. No, no, what? not Lion King. It's just Hamlet. Okay, no, but if you didn't know that, Lion no, King is live just Hamlet. No, action Lion King, when his dad I mean, died, it was sad, I but wanted I was, to die. Yeah, no, it was sad, but not enough. Christmas Shoes. Has anybody ever seen Christmas Shoes with Rob Lowe? I refuse Rob to Lowe. watch this. No, Christmas Shoes with Rob Lowe is like literally the saddest, like the saddest movie on the planet. It's about I'm a little boy who, you. no, it's about a little boy yeah. whose mom has cancer. Her death day is like literally right after Christmas. And all this little boy wants to do is buy his mom a pair of beautiful shoes to go to heaven with. It's awful! And then Rob yeah, Lowe is in front of him movie. in the store and he saved up all of this money. He gets to go to the no, to pay. Doing it. And he's like five dollars short. And he's just crying. He's like, my mom needs these shoes for Christmas. Yeah. And Rob Lowe's like, I'll spot you money. Sure. He has no idea what he's doing. Yeah. And the kid's just crying. He takes the shoes back, puts them on his mom's feet, and then she dies. And it's just like, Jeez. wow. This is a Christmas. Christmas. And this is a Christmas it's movie. Terrible. But no, it's Are you really sweet. To watch it? And like, it will steal my Christmas joy. It will, but it's so sweet. Oh, no, and the scene is beautiful. If you haven't seen it, Rob Lowe's great. I'm not watching it. <laughs> anyway. So, what's my favorite chick flick? Mm -hmm. What is your favorite chick flick? Come on. Because apparently the ones that I were saying I weren't chick flicks. Chick flick. I am going to put down Crazy Stupid 
love. Okay, that's definitely a chick flip. Right, or is that like, I mean? <laughs> jump up in the air. He's teaching you girl how to like bowl. Like crazy stupid love. They get like it's a fight, like I don't want to spoil the plot for you, but... Oh, come on, Rich. It's been out forever. Skip ahead, like, 15 seconds if you haven't seen it. But, like, so basically, Michael Scott is getting a divorce. <laughs> Michael Scott. Yeah, don't even need to skip for out. Ryan Scott. Gosling at a bar, and Ryan Gosling's like, I'm going to help you out, man. Like, I'm going to help you be a player. And so then... Ryan Gosling falls in love with Steve Carell's daughter and they show up to his house and they get into this massive fist fight and it's just like, it's hilarious, but it's a good love story. <sighs> Watch it. Good pick, so good. good pick. I can Thank approve, you. I can approve. All right, what is your favorite chick flick? I love you so much, by the way. What is my favorite chick flick? Yes. Um, oh Come my on. gosh. You no. know we watch okay, chick look. flicks. Okay, look, we do watch okay. chick flicks, so I'm not gonna lie, I do watch chick flicks. And I'm also not gonna lie, there's actually a couple that I really like. Really, actually. Like. Would you consider okay. white chicks a chick flick? No. Okay, so I can't use no. I can't use white chicks. That's like a comedy. I don't it know is a comedy, know. but it's, it's so funny. Uh, if I had to, do, oh my gosh, like I'm I'm stuck between two now. Okay, what are Because they? there's there's Mean Girls, like <laughs> hello. I mean, I think so. I, but Mean Girls is like that movie. Like you can watch it as many times. It's still funny. It It'll still movie. get you off your toes. Like I love Mean Girls. Them plastics are no joke. But anyway. If it wasn't Mean okay. Girls, it would be Pitch Perfect. Like, why wouldn't it be Pitch Perfect? Like, I, oh, come on, that is so you think chick flick. That's a chick flick. Guys, don't go out and watch Pitch Perfect. Oh, no, 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 yes, no, 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 guys, do not go out and watch Pitch Perfect. Many guys that have watched Pitch Perfect. If you're a guy and you, like, go just go out and watch Pitch Perfect, don't say that. Don't please, stop. Like, stop hit it. the comments, stop let it. me know. But, I, know, I do, I, no, I love, I love Pitch Perfect. perfect. Look, Fat Amy is awesome. I'd have to be pitch perfect for Chick Flakes. Okay. Definite. What movie do you want to see right now? That's like out in theaters. Oh, you got giggly about this. Ew, I have one. No. Yes. What? The second Ooh, really yeah. One. Is that out? Yeah, it is. It's out. Ooh, okay, man. I say I don't cry a lot, but this one, the first one. Also made me cry. No, it was Maybe good. Angelina Jolie like, like, killed it. In movies. Angelina like, Jolie. She when they crushed like, it. Clipped her wings. Oh. I was just like. Ugh, uh, uh. Yeah, and it just happened to be like that one guy, I know, right? Like, oh my oh, god. Yeah, forget it. And then you realize like all of her hatred towards humanity. I know. You understand? Yes. Like. And I'm just like, yeah, she's not a terrible person. Like, and my heart is broken for her. I mean, she's still a terrible person, yeah. but like, like you see why she's a terrible. And this is kind of why I want to see Joker because like he's a terrible person, but like I want to see why is he a terrible yes. person. I want to see what makes him that. And so it's kind of like that I origin like that of Maleficent. Party. But I don't know what this new uh, Maleficent's about. What's like, a movie you're dying to see right now? Oh my gosh, no, definitely Joker. I've literally been wanting to see Joker the I'm second I saw that trailer. It. I feel like I'd be upset and I'd take this No, you, I, I honestly don't I think, think that you I'm would like this movie. Side. You would, yeah, no. I feel like he was bullied. Well, you would. Like, that's why bad things I happened. feel like some part of you would like to see it on some level, like, just psychology. Psycholo yeah, yeah, psychology wise, to see like what's going yeah. on through this guy's head and like. But like that's why I really want to see it because I heard it's incredible. They got a great actor for the Joker, yeah. and then actually seeing the Joker's Are you, like, backstory. A scared that like another person's gonna become the Joker, and you know, do you think? No, I, I'm not scared of anything like that. But like, it, honestly, I wanted to see it for so long, and I know I. At first, I was kind of worried yeah, that like I, I couldn't take you to go see it because you might be scared or something. Um, I but I, I, think I, I like, like we gotta go see it, right? You gotta go see it if you haven't already. If you've seen it. Just tell, just give me a thumbs up, like if it's good. Write in the comments. Tell me it's good. Tell me I should go see it. But like, Joker. So Rachel, if your life, if your life was a movie, what movie would it be? That's such a good one. I have, obviously, something where I like marry my prince charming. Oh gosh. Happy. I have a great family. That's true. You have a great I family. I have a naval stepmother and I love my sister. So I have a really good family, but I did have to do a lot of chores. It was like slavery. <laughs> so 
I thought Cinderella. Picking had apples like, in an orchard, yeah. you know, and that kind of thing. Having to pick up sticks in snow and they had to be dry. Oh, it was a oh, dad. oh. Um, I love Cinderella. She's my favorite princess, but I didn't have a bad family. So kind of like Cinderella, but without the bad family. If your life was a movie, what would it be? If we were a movie. Yeah, high School Musical. Jack. No, I'm just kidding. It definitely like, wouldn't be wow. High School. I'm not Troy Bolton. Um, wow, I still remember his name after all these years. Um, Zach Efron, like literally, yeah, he made my childhood. He really did. My life were to go with the movie, Chewie. What would that be? I'd have to have a good. What would that look dog? like? I would have to have a pretty awesome dog. Wouldn't I? Yeah. I have a pretty bomb dog, which I do. It's right here, and he's so cute, and he's biting me. <laughs> he loves me. Yeah. What? No, it's 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 a it's a third. It's a it's a it's not a sequel, but what's a, what's the third called in a movie? A tri the trilogy? Yeah. The, the last movie like a in a trilogy. Um, Spy Kids 3D. What if my it? life had to be like a movie. No, if your Spy life was. Like the movie was like replicating your life. Yes, you Spy Kids 3D. Yes, absolutely. No, you're because, out of your mind. No, because I live my life like a normal person, but I yeah. always feel like I'm like something more than just a normal kid. Like, like special. I spy, I'm special. There's something about me that nobody special. else knows. And then the reason I say 3D is because they literally go into a video game and like that becomes oh. the reality. And like, yeah. that's kind of my thing is like when I come home and like I play video games, I kind of go into that reality and that becomes like my, my, Yes, this yeah, is this that is. That makes sense. See, now you, now you understand, understand why. Like, that's I was my like, life. You're not a spy, Jordan. Like, see, not but even like, close. but like, I'm a normal but kid, and I always feel like I'm special. Spy. And then so when I come home, I step into that virtual reality, and I kind of just, and I'm just like, yep, this is it. This is me. Um, you know, obviously, I don't play nothing with like glowing suits. I'm not a wannabe Iron Man. Oh yeah, call me a loser all you want, you know. That's what she's doing. Um, but anyway. Spike is 3D. What's the sappiest movie you've ever seen? Oh, A Walk to Remember. Like, oh. <laughs> oh my god. Like Nicholas Sparks. Oh like, no. Oh no. I love you forever. <laughs> a, like, what's an even line from there? Like, she's like rowing the boat and like he runs rowing out the her boat. and like the rain falls and she's maybe that's an over dramatic scene. I don't know. And then it's like, I built this house for you. And I painted it and I waited all these years for you. I love you. Yeah, it's sappy. And then they die, <laughs> they die together in bed holding hands and they're like, Oh, stop. Yeah, oh, no. Love. Stop. They, they don't do guess. that. They do. Oh, my they gosh. They die in bed together. No. Like, no fuck. Oh, no. Yeah, no. Okay, sappiest movie in the notebook. So, sappiest movie you've ever seen. This oh, one. it's this buggy right here. Uh, so, sappiest, okay, so sappiest movie I've ever seen. Yes. Like, over sappy, like. Just dumb. I'm, this is gonna be like way out there, but I'm not out of line. I'm not out of line not on this. I'm not out of line? Okay. Every I Hallmark see. movie ever made. Oh, Every Hallmark, Hallmark movie movies. is so sappy. Oh. I'm sorry, Mom, if you watch this, because I know how much you love Hallmark, but they're so sappy. And literally, after like two minutes you of the know movie, who she's gonna marry. You yeah, know you know, know the whole plot. Like no, I don't guy. even watch more than two minutes. Like, the second I that, like, I get the, yeah. I get the premise of like she's the like, main oh, characters. I, I know what's gonna happen. You know, like it's, grade, it usually has to do with, sweetheart. yeah, or like, you yeah. know, you know. I went away to college and found this guy. Yeah, and, and like one person's BDS already guy. like engaged yes. and then they meet the love of their life yeah. and they're like stuck in this, and oh no, I love him, but I'm engaged to this person. And now, no, 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 they're all the same. They're all sappy. Yep. Hallmark, cut, cut. Out. stop it. We just want to thank you so much for joining, joining Jacobs. Jacob. And if you haven't already, please go hit ahead and that hit that subscribe, subscribe button. button right over here. Hit it, hit it, hit it. Hit it. And if you haven't seen any of our other videos, go check this one out right here. This is a pretty great one. If you haven't yet followed us on Instagram, look no further. Go ahead, follow us so that you can vote for our next Jacob Jabble. You don't hey. want to miss it. And then you don't want to miss next week because we're gonna somebody's getting pied in, in the, the face. face. You don't want to miss it. So thank you so much for joining, joining Jacobs. Jacobs.